would imagine that makes it quite convenient as well for when you're driving around town to be practical. <laughs> story that I ended up doing about three or four weeks ago where the RS6 got a blowout. Anyway, long story short, I went to meet Paul to film a video. I went down a pothole and the front left tire on the RS6 got an immediate blowout. So instead of filming, we spent the whole day on a car park waiting for a recovery truck to come and pick me up. I'm not going to let that happen today. Today we're going to get a video and make it work. This is Paul's concept where both my video and Paul's video will complement each other. Last time I teamed up with Paul, we were blindfold driving my F12. <laughs> What's... Go keep going. More throttle. This time it's similarly crazy. <laughs> So let's head over there and have a nice day filming what is ultimately going to be a hilarious video. I'm, I'm trying to work out how to use this tripod I've just bought. What? This is fascinating to me because Paul is famous for uh, keeping it simple and you've added <laughs> this to your arsenal. What's the, yeah, what's the reason I, behind this? This camera hasn't actually got in-body stabilization. It's got lens stabilization. I'm not going to bore everyone, <laughs> but I think with the help of this tripod, I'll have a lot more stable shots. Up in the game here. Up in the game. So, as you can see, I've met up with Paul. We've both uh, driven to a mutually convenient location that it's is nowhere near either of us. No, but it's bang in the middle. <laughs> bang in the middle. <laughs> so the idea today is we both are embarking on a journey together uh, down to Top Marks and then afterwards to some yet undisclosed locations, which I'm very excited about. Yeah. Because I don't think any automotive YouTubers have been that way yet. No. So we're excited to bring that to you. We're doing some planning on the behalf of the other two, which aren't yeah. here. So we're also being joined by Sam from Seen Through Glass. Who's in Italy, Seb, Seb yeah. is in Monaco. Yeah, Sam's at a pure, pure McLaren, McLaren event, drive. getting his pick of any McLaren he wishes to drive. Yeah. Uh, in Monza? Yeah, in Monza. Seb sunning himself in Monte Carlo, yeah. and we're going for some apple juice in, yeah. in England. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, I'm gonna pick Paul's brains about his new exhaust system, because he's having it completely Bespoke built completely custom. I'm fascinated by this because up until recently the thing to do has been go to a Branded manufacturer off the shelf system. Yeah, and then stick it on and hope you like it <laughs> Hope for the best. But Paul's been able to tune it himself. Yeah, because like Capristo and all of that lot you already see them on YouTube So you know what they're gonna sound like and yeah. completely custom you can comp engineer it how you want and I went to this tailor-made yeah. exhaust company Brook Race Exhaust and they're doing it for me. Mental. Let's go have a pizza and discuss exhaust. Yum. So the exhaust you're having made yeah. is completely bespoke yeah. for you. Yeah. And what? That's so cool. And so have you tuned it to be, mm. you've sort of told them the characteristics you want of the exhaust. Yeah. Which are? <laughs> Smooth. Mm -hmm. Not barky. Okay. Yeah, Gallardo and Hurricane's quite barky. Valves? It's got the valves, yeah. Same on the stock system, so on the steering so wheel. So you, you can still turn it on and off. Yeah. So you don't piss off your neighbours. Mm -hmm. But when you want it, you can be mad. Mm -hmm. Basically, I said, Make it as much as possible, make it as close to an LFA and Crow GT. Wow, that's incredible. So, you want that, that howl at yeah. the top end? Yeah. Mate, because if they achieve that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It might be the first <laughs> Lambo I buy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So 
today is another crazy Paul project. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. The premise is we're each swapping cars. I'm driving Paul's M3, he's driving my RS6, and we've each selected 10 descriptive words that we think each other is going to use to describe to you the experience of driving our cars. But there's a twist. The trigger is this ridiculous air horn. Oh, shit! It's so much louder than I thought. <laughs> oh god! I did that right, right in my right ear. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be um, the alarm inside the car for when one of us uses those words. Yeah. Okay, so now Paul is gonna share with you the words that he has chosen, so you're aware of them when I inevitably tr trigger them shortly, <laughs> and vice versa. If you hop over to Paul's channel, you will also discover just how much of a cock up I made of this situation. <laughs> Make sure you've got your fingers in your ears. In ears okay, good. Right, the words that I've gone for are quite, well, they're more features to do with my BMW M3. We have gone for performance as number one because I think the M3's got quite a good performance. V8, I think James is going to compare my car to the E92 naturally aspirated V8. White seats, both James and I have got white seats. Noisy, practical, army tricks, carbon fiber, heads up display, winter tires. I think there's gonna be a connection between his McLaren, which is on winter tires, and my car, which is still on winter tires. And next level, number 10 is next level. I don't know where he's going to use it, but I know it's his favorite phrase. So uh, let's see how I get on. Genuinely, I'm scared for my ears. I can't believe you wrote me into this, man. <laughs> so another parameter yeah. is that we only have five minutes. So from the moment that you leave that gate there, you have got five minutes to review this car, relay your experiences of driving this car, and I'm gonna be on a stopwatch. So you're not only up against 10 bogey words. I've also got five minutes in which to fit them all in. Yeah, you've also got a time limit. <laughs> okay, so how does that work? You just slam, you slam just, the air I'm horn just, down? Yeah, I'm just gonna slam the air horn down. I'm not. I'm gonna put it here. Oh, so that, really? You're gonna go that, that yeah, close? Yeah, just, just so that the GoPro can, 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 can get it. Can get it it'll equally shaft us both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what oh, God, no! <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one, five minutes starts now. Okay, so, oh, it sounds great. Really, that wasn't one? That, no. was, that was instinctive as that, well. That so I one. haven't actually experienced this exhaust yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pleasantly surprised it does sound really good. What I'm interested in feeling though is the torque of this car alongside this dual clutch gearbox. Oh, no. <laughs> How are you doing this? <laughs> One of the, I would say, controversial characteristics of this car when it launched was that the uh, engine sound and exhaust tone wasn't really what people expected from your conventional BMW M car. However, that was made up for by Paul whacking on this incredible raspy exhaust system. Oh, the overrun. <laughs> Oh, the blips on the downshift are awesome. <laughs> How are you getting away with this? <laughs> no, I'm so scared. <laughs> um, pleasantly surprised to say that uh, on the road, this this thing is performing quite... Oh, my God! No! Oh, God! It's so loud! Oh, is it performing? Performing! Good God! Anyway... <laughs> Steering weight is surprisingly nice, considering this generation of vehicle adopted the electromechanical steering oh. rather, rather than the conventional the hydraulic oh, no. <laughs> steering rack. <laughs> You're smashing it. Anyway, uh, let's go from the outside to the inside go of on. the car and uh, discuss the interior quality. Uh, Feel free. Dashboard trim. Lovely composite fibers on no! the dashboard. <laughs> really? Yes. No. Lovely composite fibers uh, on the uh, dash here. It's a fine array. People who watch my channel regularly will know that I'm a bit of a gearbox snob, and I either like to go 
manual or full twin clutch. And I'm very happy to report the shifts on this are crisp and fast. And I would imagine that makes it quite convenient as well for when you're driving around town to be practical. <laughs> I knew you were going to say practical. <laughs> You've got one and a half minutes this, this, left. No, I've never done a car review that's so disjointed. <laughs> so far, the ride quality's good. Uh, guess what tires I'm on? Tad, what season have we just had? Oh, they are seasonal specific tires. <laughs> no! I <laughs> see, yes. So on these seasonal specific tyres, uh, I have to say that the ride quality is sublime. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> You've got 20 Sorry. seconds left, so try 20 and summarize. Seconds. Try okay. and summarize. In summary, a great daily driver that now Paul has augmented it, sounds great, looks cool, and has the performance <laughs> three <laughs> seconds two one car. stop <laughs> you only said performance practical and i think that was it what else did you have on your so list? i had v8 i thought you were going to compare it to the e92 which you nearly did nearly did i nearly always did. went there yeah white seats i thought you were going to ah. mention the white seats Noisy, which you managed noisy. to find every other yeah, scripted <laughs> word for an army tricks exhaust <laughs> other than noisy. <laughs> practical, which you said. So practical. I did say army tricks, but you didn't oh, say army tricks. I didn't tricks. say army tricks. Yeah. Carbon fiber, which you managed to swerve. Yeah, I, I thought that was potentially the most predictable one. And then thought. heads up display, which you didn't mention. Oh, no, I didn't mention that. Winter tires, which again, oh, you, uh, you managed to swerve. You, yeah, you sort of kindly guided me around that one. Almost. And uh, it's a shame that you didn't say this word because obviously Ooh. my car doesn't go anywhere near next level. Oh, <laughs> that was, yeah, good research. <laughs> so yeah, there were my 10 words. You said two. I said two. Oh. That's not bad. I feel really nervous now though about driving your car. I should have done I should have done some research on your videos to find out what words <laughs> yeah. you regularly use. But man, it makes me appreciate how much time I normally have when I'm talking about a car. <laughs> well, let's, let's think about this subjectively and give some real insight and value. No, not, it sounds good, it handles well and it's nice inside! <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> oh brilliant. <laughs> Okay, so are we going to go back and pick up yeah, let's the head back. Yeah, and the uh, I'm going to blast that cannon in your ear. Yes. <laughs> that was my worst, most terrifying car review ever. <laughs> but now, sir, you can Thank have you. my keys. Oh, yeah. You can and have I shall that. take the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to head over to Paul's channel to see if he makes an entire cock up of it all. <laughs>